Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be my top 10 stocks as we head into Friday, July 15th. This will be a technical analysis breakdown. So if you're somebody that uses charts within your trading, or maybe you're just interested in learning more about charts and how they can be used as a tool to help make good decisions as a trader, this will be a video for you. A couple of quick clarification before I get into each stock here. First off, the price you see over here and the candlestick itself will still be moving around. That's because the market's still open for a small amount of time. But I like to do these videos when the market is still open because sometimes we can capture some really interesting late day price movement. And then second, I'll be using the 30 minute time frame, meaning that each one of these candlesticks, if you're a beginner, represents 30 minutes worth of time. So stock number one here, GOEV. This will mean a bit more to those of you that have watched past watch list videos. But if you have, hopefully you remember me talking about that resistance line right there. And you know, congratulations to anybody that just tracked it, tracked it, tracked it, because you can see that on Wednesday, late day was the break from that area. And then today just got absolutely fantastic follow through. So again, for those of you that watched that previous video and you know took that break of the trend line, you got paid in a big way uh, you know, today. So let's get some new levels mapped out. And the first level that I think everybody and their brother uncle is gonna be watching is right up there at $5. I mean, you can see right there, was rejected back on the 12th, and then once again today, rejected at $5. And while there are no guarantees, my point here is this, and you can call it a self-fulfilling prophecy, you can call it whatever you want, but my point is that if the price does get back up to five and can break up through it, especially if it's on a high volume break, then to my mind, that could really create a whole nother round of upside buying pressure and momentum. There are no guarantees, but again, is that a plausible thought process to have? In my opinion, absolutely. So $5, all eyes definitely gonna be on that one. And let's see if this momentum and trend can continue into Friday. Next one, CLNN, very nice move today, which has now ultimately formed a great pattern here. And the pattern is something that I don't wanna try to imply is some sort of great discovery on my part of special talent. I assure you a lot of people have drawn this pattern and I say all that because once again, when a lot of people are watching the same dynamics and wondering the same things, self-filling prophecy, call whatever you want, it can produce a very nice movement. So overall, top part of this pattern up here at $4.30. And then as far as bottom part of the pattern, we have that trend line right there. So let me change that to green to represent more so the bullish attribute of the pattern. So we have our resistance, we have our support. And once again, depending on how you like to play things, if you like to play pullbacks, well then yeah, you have a potential area down here at that trend line, which you can see has provided support several times before. But like GOEV, if this thing comes back up to that level and breaks up through it, is it you know guaranteed? No, but is it plausible to think that that break could be, you know, create another surge of upside buying pressure? Yeah, sure, because there's gonna be people saying, hey, look, it's breaking out of the pattern. I'm a breakout player, it's time to buy. So keep a close eye on that level if you like to play breakouts. Keep an eye on that trend line if you like to play pullbacks. Next one, TLRY, really came to life today. A big volume and like the previous one, which is why I wanted to put at this location on the watch list, a very solid pattern here that, once again, I'm not trying to imply that I'm the only person watching this. I assure you a lot of people are gonna be watching this pattern, which is right here. So let me get that once again changed to green. Who knows, maybe are we gonna catch a breakout as I speak? We'll see, it's getting kind of close, but so there's the resistance, there's the support, and maybe to make it easier to see, we have, we'll keep it one color. We have our resistance, we have our support, we have the big momentum move here, and then to make it more visual, let's put a little golf hole down here. So this would be a bull pennant pattern. So if you like to play stocks down below $5, if you like to play bull pennant patterns, then here you go. But overall right now, you can see it's definitely near that area. So if it can get the breakup through there, guarantees, say it with me, no, but is it valid? Is it plausible to think that a break of that level? And look at this go as I speak, knocking on that door. So who knows, maybe by the time you're watching this, because the market's still got 10 minutes left, uh, maybe the breakout has happened. Uh, so at that point, uh, the, the further up through that line is to just the more powerful the breakout is and then the more momentum that you would expect to see on Friday. But yeah, we'll see what happens with it. And like I said, who knows, maybe this thing ultimately does break out. Next one, SNDL and like TLRY, same sector, same pattern. So once more and same general idea of self-filling prophecies and patterns. So, you know, these ones have been put strategically into the watch list. So I'm just gonna get this pattern drawn up because you, you get the idea now. I'm not gonna sit here and say the same things over and over again. So you know that there's no guarantees, but you understand the general premise and let me get that changed to green once again. So just like TLRY, uh, maybe you only like to play penny stocks, which is why I kind of like this one too. It's offering up a variety, same pattern, same general premises, but here we have a penny stock, uh, but we have our resistance, have our support, have the momentum move right here. Let's put the golf hole down here and we have ourselves another bull pennant pattern uh, with SNDL here. So if, like I said, if you like to play these general ideas, but you prefer more so penny stocks, here you go. 
Next one, AMC, and not a whole lot to update from the previous video I did, uh, but like I said, I wanna keep tracking it because in my mind, this line at some point is gonna come and play a big role. When that is, I have no idea, nobody knows that, but I just really think that this level is getting established so well, including today. Sure, the price didn't hit it exactly, but definitely got up within the general vicinity before rolling back over. Uh, so I do think that that line, like I said, at some point in the future, uh, you know, maybe even next week, comes back into play and you know maybe provides a nice little breakout signal there. As far as supports are concerned, this level down here around 1480, which you can see has provided support before. Once again, fast forwarding to today, earlier on in the day provided support. Uh, so if you're someone that's maybe a short, then yeah, you gotta think that there's probably lots of shorts watching that level, but there's also gonna be longs watching it thinking, you know what, it's bounced from there before, maybe it bounces again, and then eventually gets up there through that pattern. But overall, that main trend line in my mind is the most interesting dynamic, but 1480 is definitely a close second. Real quickly, I wanted to pause and personally invite you to get signed up for this free live training that I'm offering. So if you've been enjoying what you've seen and you wanna learn more about this tool, how it can and should be used, to build consistency as a trader, then definitely get signed up for this free live training. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a link down in the description box. If you're watching at my site, there's an area right there on the webpage. But one special note, it is live, and depending on when you watch this, is gonna determine a few things. So if you're watching this Friday morning, then yeah, you've already missed it, but it will be recorded. So please send me an email there, clay at claytrader.com, and I'd be happy to send you a link. Or maybe you're watching it, and, and but you already have something on your schedule this evening. It's too last minute. I understand it's summer. I have five kids, so I understand. Life can get busy. So maybe you're not able to attend. Still, send me an email because the event will be recorded. And then after I get it, uh, after the event's completed and I get it uploaded, then I'd be happy to send you a link to it. So in any of those situations, by all means, email me. But if you can make it live, then definitely get signed up. I wanted to just quickly kind of do the, or sorry, Next one here, XELA, but I wanted to quickly just wrap up things on this one because I did this in previous uh, watch list video. And at that point, there was still at least a little bit of a chance because the price was up above here. It had not gone to where you know it began, but we now officially have the price on XLEA going right back to where it was. And as I said in yesterday's video, uh, you know, as far as, you know, movements with genuine power, and I'm saying the obvious, but this is why I completely understand people calling this a pump and dump is because, I mean, you think about it, price exploded and then has gone now in a, a time span of two days right back to where it was. Again, I'm not saying it's a pump and dump in the sense of that, you know, the company's being run out of somebody's bunker in North, Cor uh, you know, North Korea, but I'm just saying that from a strictly price action standpoint, uh, you know, you could officially say a, a massive death trap of a gap and trap. You could call it a pump and dump, but yeah, not good when the price explodes and then within two days goes right back to where it started. Next one here, AAPL Apple, and an interesting dynamic here where, you know, let me know in the comment section what you think, uh, because I don't, I don't know, how would you approach this? I'm thinking that that trend line right there is more so the main breakout dynamic. Um, maybe you would say, no, Clay, I think you should just draw it right across the top there. Uh, so like I said, let, let me know, would you use the trend line? Would you just use flat out 149 for this breakout point? Uh, it definitely seems to be kind of a situation where you could look at it at a couple different angles. But really, when you boil it all down, whether you want to use this trend line here or just use that flat little area of 149, the price is going to be basically the exact same. Maybe it's off by 20, 25 cents. So, I mean, maybe I'm, I'm splitting hairs here. But in my mind, I, that, that trend line, I think a lot of people have probably noticed that trend line. So I think more people are watching that than the 149. Uh, but like I said, on that one, I'm, I'm easily willing to concede. Yeah, maybe, maybe I'm, I'm a little wrong on that one. But like I said, let me know in the comment section what you think of that. But right now, definitely key level of resistance right up there around, let's just say the 149 area. Uh, but overall, you got to you know, no guarantees, but you gotta like the chances that Apple maybe gives it a go. I mean, what a strong move today, gap down all the way up here. It's now taking a little bit of a breath, some consolidation, uh, which suggests that, you know, okay, it's no longer overextended, so maybe it can give it another go. But I know Apple's obviously a very popular stock. Uh, so if you're looking for something that was looking weak to start the day, but completely turned it around, uh, then this is one that would certainly meet that criteria. Next one here, TSLA Tesla. And there's really two main dynamics that I'll be watching on Friday. And I'm somebody that uh, looks to try to trade Tesla every day. I'm very active with it, both with the stock and options. But overall, the first level, nothing new. I've talked about this previously, the 726 mark, uh, which seemingly could very well be coming into play. Uh, like Apple, this one had a very rough start and then all of a sudden slammed on the brakes 
and basically trended upwards the rest of the day. Um, so we'll see. I, I don't think it's going to take much to get it back up to that level. What happens at that level? Well, that's what makes it very interesting. And that's the whole idea of a watch list, right? To find unique situations, to find interesting situations, and then not just buy them, but watch, see if they behave, see how they behave. And ultimately, if they fit into your personal strategy, then you take can take action on them at that point in time. So 726 can be that main area of support. And then from a support standpoint, or I'm sorry, uh, that 726 main area of resistance, but from a support standpoint, gonna be this tread line right here, which I think now a lot of people will be watching so we can you know potentially get uh, that self-filling attribute of things where if the price does roll back over, and then breaks down through it, uh, looking for, you know, potentially, you know, puts or shorts right there. But also if you like to play longs and bounces, well then, you know, that's also a valid area where it could potentially bounce from there, which goes back to the whole philosophy of a watch list. That is an interesting situation. So if the price were to get down there, it's worth watching it and then seeing how the price ultimately behaves. But those are gonna be the two main levels I'm watching on Tesla for Friday. Next one, YSG. Uh, I don't know why I'm just seeing this one now. It's had some pretty crazy movements, but regardless, nice bounce here. And the level here that I think a lot of people will be watching is a very well known, the very famous 50 period moving average on uh, my chart here, the uh, purple line there, valued at $1.87. So, yes, nice bounce. There's still work that needs to be done. And the next bit of quote unquote work that needs to be done is to get up through that $1.87 mark. So, keep a close eye on that from the resistance side of things. In terms of areas of support, Watch that pink line right there, 200 period moving average if there is any sort of pullbacks. Uh, but for more so the overarching level, let me squeeze this down. The level that really stands out to me from a support side of things is right here at the $1.40 mark. You can see $1.40, generally speaking, has had quite a bit of history bouncing the price. Uh, but like I said, that would take quite a bit, bit to roll back over. But like I said, preferably speaking, it stays above that pink line. But even if it doesn't, you still have $1.40 as resistance. If it can push up through that uh, 50 period moving average, then as far as areas of resistance are concerned, I'd keep an eye on this overarching tread line up there. But like I said, one step at a time, let's first see if the price can get above that 50 period. Next one, K-E-R-N, and I mean just the power of charts. So quick plug again, if you can if you can make that live training, definitely get signed up for it to drop me an email. Are charts perfect? No, but I mean, check this out. You just can't make it up. Explodes, explodes, explodes. Look right where it decides to stop exploding and get, get rejected right back down. A technical level, that pink line, which you now know is the 200 period moving average. So, I mean, just a classic example of how you know people. I mean, true story. Some people decide, you know, I'm going to buy right at a resistance. And then those people are, are now learning the hard way. That was probably not a good spot to buy right at that level. But point being that moving forward, that 200 period moving average remains a very, very key level. And what's interesting is this one showed that it can move and move quickly. And I realized with the pullback here, maybe it's game over. So that's completely fair. That's completely an accurate assertion of what could be the case. But that is a two-sided coin because maybe, just maybe, this is a temporary pullback. I mean, it's occurring on much less volume. And maybe this may be another move is about to come upwards, which circles back to this point. It has proven that it can move very quickly. So once more, am I saying that another big move is coming? No. But what's today's price action? Very unique, very interesting. Absolutely. So get it on the watch list and watch how it plays out. And if it ultimately does behave in a way that fits your strategy, then take a trade on it. So that wraps up the top 10. Again, if you like what you saw here and you want to learn more about this tool and how it can and should be used to build consistency as a trader, then certainly get signed up for the free live training. Like I said, it'll be this evening, Thursday, July 14th at 7 p.m. Eastern time. But like I said, if you're watching this Friday and you've already missed it or you just have something else on your schedule, then please email me, clay at claytrader.com because after the live event's over, I'll get it uploaded and I'd be happy to send you a link so that you can ultimately watch it. As far as these top 10 videos are concerned, if you enjoy this format, if you would like for me to continue to make these videos, then please let me know because it does require time and effort on my part, but I'll continue to do them as long as I know people are enjoying. So hit that like button, leave a simple comment down below if you enjoy. And as far as the comment, say hi, tell me what you traded today. Give me a smiley face emoji, whatever you want, but hitting the like button and leaving a simple comment below really do help me out in the feedback department. And let me know that I'm not wasting my time doing these videos. So thanks for hanging out. Get signed up for that free training or drop me an email, hit that like button, leave a simple comment down below. Everybody, thanks. Take care. Have a good one.